suppose we take a paper and we place grids on that paper and then we take any object say a watercolor tube and place it over the paper and then we make attempt or we try to exactly create that tube on the same piece of paper within the grids and we try to do this from a fixed distance from a certain distance and that distance should not keep fluctuating it, it has to be uh, like uniform or fixed this is what is known as mini site size method so here uh, the things that are important are the object size the grids and of course the most important thing the proportions this this process helps us in because of the grids and also because of the fixed fixed um, distance we are able to improve our proportions and hence the mini site size method is very beneficial